Mr. Wright here, we're going to have a look at how to factorise a quadratic with a single x squared. Just to get us ready for that, let's just remember how we multiply brackets together, how we expand pairs of brackets, just like these four examples. Because when we factorise a quadratic, we're going to be doing this process backwards. So let's have a look at number one. Number one is going to give me an x squared 2x's plus 7x's, 2x's from the nose, 7x's from the mouth, gives me plus 9x, and then I get plus 14 at the end. Okay, just notice that the 9x here came from the 2x, 2 times x, and the 7 times x, which all together gave me the 9x's. Remember, I did the 2 times the x, and the 7 times the x. That's how I got 9x. And the 14, of course, came from that 2 multiplied by that 7. OK, let's have a look at number 2 here. So I'm going to have x times x again, x squared. Now, this time I've got minus 2x from here and minus 7x from the mouth. So I've got minus 2 of them, add on minus 7 of them, gives me minus 9x's. And then I'm going to do minus 2 times minus 7 gives me plus 14. Have a look at that. So I've got plus 14 on both of these answers, because on example 1 I've got plus 2 times plus 7 is plus 14. And on example 2 I've got minus 2 times minus 7, and minus times minus is a plus. So I've got plus 14 both of those examples, but one of them has given me plus 9x, example 1, and the other one in example 2 is going to be minus 9x. That one has minus 2x's and another minus 7x's. Let's have a look at examples 3. Let's look at example 3 here, first of all. All right, so I've got x times x is x squared. Now, this time, I've got plus 2 times x, so I've got plus 2x's, okay, so I've got this many x's, and then my mouth will give me minus 7x's, so my mouth gives me another that many x's, so altogether I have plus 2x's and minus 7x's, which gives me minus 5x's, and then plus 2 times minus 7 is minus 14 Okay, and let's have a look at number three, number four. So here again, I'm going to have x squared. Now my nose is here, and that is going to give me minus 2x's, and my mouth gives me plus 7x's. Minus 2x's, plus 7x's, is plus 5x's. Let's just have a look and understand that plus 5 a bit more. So I've got minus 2x's and plus 7x's, so altogether I have plus 5x's. That plus 5 is the total of minus 2 and 7, isn't it? Okay, now my number at the end. Minus 2 times plus 7 is minus 14. Okay, all right, now let's just have a look at all four examples. I'm quite sure that you're ahead of me. And I'm sure that you've realized in number one, this plus nine is the two plus the seven. And the 14 is the plus two times the seven. Again, in example two, the minus nine here is minus two plus minus seven. And the plus 14 is minus two times minus seven. Similarly, example three, this minus five is minus 7, add plus 2, which is minus 5, and the minus 14 is 2 times minus 7. And in number 4, what a surprise, the plus 5 here, plus 5x there, you can find that by adding together the minus 2 and the plus 7, and the term at the end here, you can find by multiplying together the minus 2 and the plus 7. So essentially, the number at the end is always the multiplication, the product of the numbers in the bracket. And the number of x's is always the sum of or the total of the numbers in the bracket.
Let's just check that on example two. The plus 14, that is the product of the two numbers in the bracket. And the minus nine, that is the sum or the total of the two numbers in the bracket. Now we've looked at multiplying two brackets of expanding brackets. We can go on to look at going backwards. We can go on to look at starting with a quadratic expression and factorizing that to put it in the form of two brackets multiplied by each other. So here are four examples for us to have a look at. Let's start by having a look at example one. Now I need to factorize this expression, so I need to write it as one bracket multiplied by another. Now clearly my brackets are going to have x and x because that's what gives me the x squared. Now I'm looking for two numbers that are going to multiply to give me plus 18. Oh, if they multiply to a positive, that means they either both have to be positive or both have to be negative. Okay, we're going to multiply to plus 18 and we're going to add to plus 11. Well, if my numbers add to a positive, then they can't both be negative, can they? So they're going to have to both be positive. So I could, for instance, have 1 and 18. Well, that would multiply to give me the 18, but would it add to give me the 11? No, it wouldn't. What about 2 and 9? Well, that multiplies to give me the 18, and lo and behold, it adds to give me the 11. So my answer here is going to be x plus 2 or x plus 9. Of course, you could have written it as x plus 9 times x plus 2. And let's just have a quick check of that. Check that that gives you 18 at the end. 2 times 9 is 18. And check my nose would be 2x and my mouth would be 9x, which would indeed give me the 11x. Brilliant. So that is example 1 factorized. Let's look at example 2. In this case, again, we are multiplying to plus 18. Well, if I'm multiplying to a positive number, my numbers could both be positive or they could both be negative. I'm adding to give me this negative 11. Well, then they can't both be positive because that wouldn't add to give me a negative number. So they must both be negative. So for instance, minus 1 and minus 18, that would give me, if I multiplied those together, would give me the plus 18 at the end. But if I added them together, it would give me minus 19x. And I've got minus 11x, so that isn't going to work. What about minus 2 and minus 9? Well, that would multiply to give me the plus 18. Would it add to give me the plus the minus 11? Yes, it certainly would. So in this case, I'm going to have x minus 2 and x minus 9. Have a quick check of that. Minus 2 times minus 9 is plus 18. The minus 2 from the nose and minus 9x is from the mouth gives me minus 11x. Okay, right, so that's example 1 and 2. Now, let's have a look at these two. Now, there's an obvious link between these two examples. I'll just pause so you can have a look. All right, what's the obvious link? Well, the obvious link is that in both cases, they multiply together to give me minus 18. And then in example 3, I'm adding to give me plus 7x. In example 4, I have to add my numbers to give me minus 7x. So let's have a look and see what's going on here. Let's start with number 3. Right, you have to multiply to give me minus 18. Okay, so that would mean that one of my numbers has to be positive and one negative. So it could be, I suppose, minus 1 and 18, because that would multiply to give me minus 18. But would it add to give me the right number of x's? Well, minus 1 plus 18 is minus 17x, so that's no good. What about 1 and minus 18? Again, that would give me minus 18 as a product. But when I total those up to find out how many x's I get, I get minus 17. That's interesting. This one gave me 17x, and that one gave me minus 17x. Okay, let's try 2 and minus 9, because 2 9s are 18, so 2 times minus 9 is minus 18. Great. But what do those add up to? 2 and minus 9. That would have given me minus 7, wouldn't it? And I want plus 7x's. Ah, so I'll do them the other way around then. Minus 2. And 9, now that's still going to give me minus 18 as a product, because two 9s are still 18, and one of them's a minus, and one of them's a plus, so it's going to be minus 18 as a product, but it's going to give me plus 7, isn't it? So there you go. So my answer to example 3 is going to be x minus 2 
and x plus 9. That gives me plus 7x's when I do my nose, minus 2x, and my mouth, plus 9x. Now, yes, you could have written that as x plus 9 times x minus 2. You could write those two brackets the other way around. Right, let's have a look at example 4. Now, this time, I'm obviously going to have an x and an x. I'm multiplying to minus 18 again, but this time I'm adding to plus 7. Well, minus 2 and plus 9 in example 3 added up to plus 7. And in this example, my, example 4, I'm adding to minus 7. So I'm going to have to have plus 2 and minus 9 in that case. Just have a check of that. That gives me plus 2x's in the nose, minus 9x. That gives me minus 7x. Good. And it gives me minus 18 at the end. So when I'm factorising quadratics, what I'm looking for is a pair of numbers which multiply to something and add to something else. Now, there's a bookit later on the playlist for you to practice finding those two numbers. There are lots of practice questions for you to work at as well. But remember, when you're factorising expressions which have a single x squared, then you simply need to find pairs of numbers which add to give you the number of x's and which multiply to give you the number at the end. Questions? Please leave a question in the comments underneath this film or make a comment if you'd like to. Tell me you found it useful. Tell me you didn't find it useful. Uh, write a comment and tell me what you'd like more help with. Okay, I'll leave you to explore the rest of the playlist.